In this video, we're going to create a custom transition to cover the screen. Now we're going to do this starting with just some plain rectangles, and then we'll move into adding images or videos. In Camtasia, we'll start with a new project and we'll go to annotations. We'll go up to the shapes annotation and we want to choose the style of bold so we get these nice square corners. So I'm going to grab that rectangle. I'm going to drag it into the center of my screen. And then I'm going to go to my properties panel and I'm going to change the width and the height. So we're going to make it 2100 by 1300. And I want this to be at a slight slant. So I'm just going to change this Z rotation to minus five degrees. Because I'm layering multiple rectangles, I'm going to add a drop shadow to this to add some depth. So we'll go over to visual effects. We'll grab the drop shadow effect and drag it over to our rectangle. I want the angle to be from the left. I'm going to double the offset to 20, increase the opacity to 50, and increase the blur to 18. All right, now to have this first rectangle in place, I'm going to select it and I'm going to do a control C to copy and I'll do control V to paste two more times. Now I have these three rectangles. The middle rectangle, I want to rotate in the other direction. So instead of a negative five degrees, I'm going to make that a positive five degrees. And now I'm going to scroll down on my mouse wheel so we can see these items a little bit easier on our canvas. The next thing I want to do is add some color to each of them. So I'm going to select the bottom one and I'll go over to the properties for that element and I will change that to a green color. Then I'll go to the second one and I'll change its color as well. And lastly, I'll go to the third and change its color. We're now ready to add animations. So what I'll do is I'll come in about a second, I'll select all three, and I'll hold down Shift A to add those three animations. Now, I don't want the animations to be a second in length each, I want them each to be half a second. And while this is the end position, where I want these to start is all the way to the right. So I'm gonna drag all three of these, make sure all three are selected, just drag them off here to the right. Because I also want them to be centered, I'll go to the properties and I'll just hit reset on the Y axis to make sure they're centered. Now, as I animate this, they all come in at once. So we just wanna stagger those. We wanna change those animations so they happen a little bit later. So I'm gonna use the period key on my keyboard. I'm gonna be right at the very beginning of this. I'm gonna to go to the right one, two, three, four, and then I'm gonna grab this second animation and have it start there. And then I'll go one, two, three, four again, and make this third one. So now if we play through, we can see those three different elements moving across our screen and covering it. To complete this transition, I'll grab a video and I'll place it near the beginning. I'll trim out the first part. I'll add an animation, scale it down to half a second, 15 frames, and make sure it starts at the right place. One, two, three, four. I want it to start here. And the starting position, like the others, I want it to be off the screen. So now as I play through this, I see those blocks is sliding across the screen and my video starts. Now, once this video is in place, I don't need these other boxes to be here on my timeline. So I'm just going to select all of those and have those end right when my video fills the screen. So just to play through that one more time, those boxes slide across and then my video starts. Now that by itself is a great transition and we can leave it at that, but we can also add images or videos instead of having just a solid rectangle. So let's try that next. I'll go ahead and just split and delete this last part of my video. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select all of these and I'm just going to control C to copy, come out a little bit and control V to paste. So let's quickly and easily replace those rectangles with videos. I'll go over to my library and perhaps I want this green screen to be one of the videos. So I'll grab green screen. I will bring it over here to the timeline. Then I will drag it down to this video and I'll wait till I have that green outline and I'll let go. And then what I want to do is replace from start and that'll just have the same duration. Okay, so that's the green screen. Let's try another one. We'll try a brighter one. So I'll grab this one with a white background and I'll drag that to the second position. I'll rest my mouse over it, wait till it goes green. And again, replace from start. And then I have a video for the last one. We'll use this gray background and I'll replace the third rectangle. And you'll notice if I drag here to the beginning, it wants to put it in front of it. If we just drag it to the middle and then let go, it's a little easier to replace. So I'll say replace from start. Now then if I play through, those videos play before the next video plays. And that's probably a little too fast. So what I'll do in this case is I will slow everything down. So let's drag and make some more room here. So instead of having just four frames before the next thing starts, let's make it more like eight. So I'll go one, two, three, four yet again. Start this one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to start this one. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
to start the last one. So now as I play through, I can see that those are videos or images. And again, it's really fast, but maybe that's what we want. And of course, we don't want any audio for those. So I would select each of those, go to the audio properties tab, and then I would drag the gain all the way down so there's no audio in the background. And I think that's a neat effect when you have different videos that you can transition from one to another. If you like this trick and you want to learn more tools in Camtasia, be sure to check out the other videos on this channel. You can like and subscribe as well, and I hope to see you in another video. So long.